welcome back to the channel. I have another unplugged unboxing. In fact, I actually have two unboxings. I don't actually know what either of these are. I have an October box coming. I have my spooky box coming. Who knows which is which, but let's unbox these. If you haven't been here before, uh, I do rep for Unplugged. They send me the adult box for free every month. I do have a rep code and that is Nurse5. I pay for the YA box myself and all specialty boxes myself, but I really love the company. They really focus on self-care. All the goodies in here are kind of like usable, consumable things. So, and they're usually from smaller, uh, Etsy sellers or shops and uh, they've started to do custom dust jackets so like it's it's a lovely company I love them there'll be a link down below along with the rep code um, but let's get into this one and figure out what this first box is also I'm trying a new setup so hopefully this works I feel like the growing book nook needs to be highlighted they did change their spoiler card so it now looks like this and this is the young adult october box and the theme is violence so we'll just leave this down here so i can cheat i'm going to get to the first item there's a little thingy that looks like it could be a headband oh yes okay so it's got like ouija like things on it the craft headbands Do I look cute yet? No. My head's like a weird size and these things never fit me. I feel like I look like a spooky karate kid. Anyway, let's keep going. Uh, ooh, what's this orange thing? Ooh. There is a pumpkin shaped bath bomb. <laughs> and let's see, it's spooky spices and creepy tales bath bomb. Oh no, it's a sh or shower steamer. Oh, I love it. I don't know how to explain it. It just, it's spicy. Like it smells like cloves and like baked goods and, but not like sweet. Oh, it smells, it smells really good. Uh, we have Midnight Dreary Cinnamon Clove and Spice Candle. And then that's the outside. Oh, that smells good. So this is an Edgar Allan Poe. Look at that beautiful black litter. Themed candle. And this one, Smells more sweet. This has more of that. I think it's the cinnamon that's making it smell sweet. A pumpkin King dip mix. Is this to make some sort of pumpkin mix? What do you do? Dip directions. Add contents to vanilla yogurt and chill and then serve. We can put fruit, crackers, cookies, make a bagel spread. Oh, that sounds cute. And the pumpkin king is Nightmare Before Christmas. So that's really cute. We love Nightmare Before Christmas. There's a box in a box, which is always an interesting thing. Always something good when there's a box in a box. <gasps> Wait, can you put your dip in this? Wait, there's a little pumpkin bowl. Oh, that's so cute. And it says unplugged on the bottom. What if you put your dip in that and then you have a little pumpkin dip in your pumpkin bowl and then, oh, I'm having a whole moment. And that's a sleepy hollow bowl. Who cares? It's a spooky season bowl. There's a little bag of goodies in here. I love when things are wrapped in other little things because it just makes it feel like extra special. This is Iris Hollow Vanilla and Darkness Lip Balm. We all know I love a good lip balm. Add it to the collection. And then this is a scent. This is Poison Apple Roll-On Perfume. Look at that though. It's like a apple skull. We're going out to dinner in a few hours, so I'll go smelling like apples. It's okay with me. Ooh, do, 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 do. Oh, I love it. So they've been doing like um, seasonal perfumes, and this one is fantastic. I like that it's in this matte black thing. Roller. That's what I mean by thing. A note from the author. Signed book plate, which spoils the book for me. Does that sound it's got like Beetlejuice wrap. I love it. Go ahead and love it. Oh, it's a paper book. Oh, it's um, The Violent Season by Sarah Walters, which I keep seeing around. 
in the town of Wolfridge, people liked to hurt one another. Ooh, that's what happened in Wolfridge every November. We were haunted by images and dreams of murdering strangers and friends and ourselves, and everyone knew it was real, but everyone pretended it wasn't. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that sounds fun. Okay, that's fun. We like this, we like this. So that is box one. There's everything in the October YA box. And then we have this box. And I don't know if this is my adult October box, if this is my big box um, for uh, like my spooky season box. I feel like that box should be bigger, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, but like let's double unboxing time. What is this? <gasps> okay, so this is my adult box. This is the adult, the walls are closing in October fiction box. This art I love so much. And I just want to point out that there are, the journal prompts are is still in here in this little like pamphlet. And then there's a little recipe here for a pumpkin soup, which I love. And then next month's YA is going to be Illuminate. That's the theme on the back here. And then I believe there's some spoilers. And it says November will celebrate the end of our autumn boxes with a bang. Love that. And then for the adult, it's going to be cozy nights for November. But let's do October before we get too far into November here. Oh, I'm excited about this. Oh, I can't wait to see what the adult box is. I already see a big item right here on top. And this is an interestingly sized, this is an interesting size. This is a book sleeve. So this is a Nevermore themed book sleeve which is really pretty. It's like a strange shape, I'd say, only because it's more square than rectangle. And all my other ones like this are more rectangle than square, but I do, I do love it. I like these, I put my iPad in these, I put my Kindle in these, they're like flatter. I like the size, I like it, I like it a lot. Wait, hold on. So we have a little thing that says, alas, poor Yorick, glass skull. So this is a Hamlet skull bottle. Skull bottle? Oh, we have to fill this with something. <gasps> this is perfect. It's hard to see probably because there's nothing in him, but like I can like make some fake potions, like maybe like black glitter water and put him in here. I don't know why this makes me so happy, but it really does. Another candle. This is a sleepy hollow soy wax candle. Nature pure and honest. I got a lot of stuff from them. <gasps> I love when you open it and there's like a little surprise. There's a pumpkin inside. I did not expect that. So this is toasted marshmallow and smoldering wood. Oh, I like this one. Oh, that's a good one. What else do we get? What else do we get? What else do we get? This is from Mexican Gothic no Noemi Room and Linen Spray, and it is Tonka Current Red Wine and Secret. Fun fact. Um. Mexican Gothic was the first book for our book club, which started in October of last year. So if you're not following the book club, TBR Lowdown, um, I'll link them down below. We also have a podcast. This smells really good, by the way. It's just like very fresh and like apple-y. But anyway, yeah, Mexican Gothic, lovely little Gothic horror. I do think it could have been scarier, but in the Gothic horror genre, it was really good. What is in this? Wait, this is All Hollows Eve massage soap. So I'm having a hard time getting it out of this little package because it's kind of stuck to the muslin. So it's one of those bars of soap that have like the nubbies on it so you can like massage yourself. It's just so cute. This is from Brightside Organics. I don't think we've ever gotten anything from them or at least I've never in any of my boxes. And it's got bergamot, juniper, cedar wood, something I can't read, and cardamom. It's very faint, and I like it. I like it a lot. One of these little nubbin soaps. We like nubbin soaps. We have one more little box in here, and I think I need my little knife to do this. I don't normally unbox these two together, so if you guys prefer a uh, double unboxing, let me know in the comments, otherwise I'll keep doing them separately. I know that I have a, um, special box coming in. I've been doing a lot of unboxing, so I didn't want to just like, hold on, this is awesome. Finish thought. Um, I didn't want to just like bombard you guys with even more unboxings, but look at this. Death is a mystery and burial is its secret.
it's a coffin hook. I, I have to put this up somewhere. Where am I gonna put this? It's a coffin hook. It's a coffin hook. It's just releasing my inner goth every October. Every October. So we have Spooky Pumpkin Man for our note from the author. Signed a book plate. Let's see what our book is. I think they're both paperbacks, which is interesting. The Summoning of Awesome. Okay, a novel by J.P. Smith. A dark and murky slow burn that will take you by surprise. When it comes to con contacting the dead, it's easy to go a step too far. Every year as the anniversary of 9-11 inches closer to on the calendar, Kit Capriol scans the memorials published in the New York Times. It's a simple thing to look up a name and phone number and reach out to surviving family members who might still be yearning for connection with their lost loved one to offer assistance. After her husband went down in the North Tower, Kit scraped by as an actress, barely supporting herself and her daughter. But now Zoe is in the hospital, bills are due, and the acting work has dried up. Becoming a medium is almost too easy for someone used to pretending for a living and dispatching clients and desperate clients aren't hard to come by. Now, though, something has changed. The seances Kit holds in her apartment are starting to feel unsettlingly real, and intri the intriguing man she met at a local bar could be more complicated than he seems as the voices of the dead grow louder in her head and the walls of her apartment close in. Kit realizes that, despite her daughter's absence, she hasn't been quite as alone as she thought. Spooky. We like a good, fun, spooky read. Hopefully there's a little romance trail. Love it. All right, so in our thing here, we have more journal prompts for the adult box. There is also an apple, oh sorry, a poisoned apple cocktail recipe. I'm here for it. It has tequila in it. I'm not gonna say no. It has tequila. Those are both the unboxing. So let me know down below if you prefer these two things to Together, um, or if you like it when I unbox them separately. Uh, I don't really mind. I'll do it either way. Um, I will have a few more unboxings for you because I did order a bunch of random like fall theme boxes. So um, be prepared. And then I'll get back to like more regular other bookish programming. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'm going to try to find a place for my new coffin. Uh, if you've made it this far, leave down below coffin. And I will jump on and say hi. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Every way that you interact with the channel helps me out tremendously. I appreciate you all being here. And I will see you guys in my next video, whatever that may be, because it's my channel and I can do whatever I want. Just sit with me Talking to the night until the morning Building cat mystery I don't think I ever want to go Come closer next to me Trying to find another way to say this place.